Have you ever wondered how challenging police work can be? Welcome to our exploration into the world of law enforcement, a realm where every decision matters, every action scrutinized, and every day is a testament to courage and commitment. Police work is more than just uniforms and sirens, it's a complex tapestry of laws, human behavior, and societal expectations. Officers are expected to maintain peace and order while navigating a labyrinth of legal stipulations all in the blink of an eye. They must make snap decisions, often in high-stress situations, decisions that may mean life or death for them and those they have sworn to protect. The law is a complex creature, a living entity that grows and evolves with society. Officers must keep up with these changes, understanding the legal framework that guides their actions. They are not just enforcers of the law, but interpreters applying a multitude of laws and regulations to a myriad of situations. This requires a deep understanding of the law, a keen instinct for human behavior, and an unwavering commitment to justice. Yet it's not just about understanding the law, it's about the challenge of applying it. Every situation is unique, every person different. How do you apply a law written in the calm and quiet of a legislative chamber to the chaotic, unpredictable world of the streets? This is the challenge that every officer faces, the delicate balance between the letter of the law and the realities of life. And then there's the public scrutiny. Every action, every decision an officer makes is often dissected by the public and the media. They must walk this fine line, being firm yet fair, and always aware that their actions reflect on the entire law enforcement community. These challenges are best exemplified by the landmark case Terry v. Ohio, a case that has shaped law enforcement as we know it, but more on that later. For now, let's delve deeper into the intricate world of police work, a world where courage meets complexity and the pursuit of justice is a daily challenge. What is Terry v. Ohio, you may ask? Well, let's dive into the story behind this significant legal case. In the late 60s, a man named John Terry found himself in a situation that would forever change the face of law enforcement in the United States. On a hot day in a high crime area of downtown Cleveland, Ohio, Terry and two friends were observed by a veteran police officer named Martin McFadden. McFadden noticed the trio's suspicious behavior. Based on McFadden's training and experience, he believed they were casing a store and preparing to rob it. Officer McFadden decided to approach them. After a brief interaction, McFadden conducted a stop and frisk, a quick pat down search for weapons and discovered concealed firearms on Terry and one of his companions. The case made its way to the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, and became known as Terry v. Ohio. The main parties involved were John Terry, the defendant, and the state of Ohio, the petitioner. The crux of the case was whether McFadden's stop and frisk violated the Fourth Amendment, which protects citizens from unreasonable searches and seizures. The Supreme Court, in a landmark decision, ruled in favor of the state of Ohio, the court held that if a police officer has a reasonable suspicion that a person is armed and dangerous, they may conduct a limited search for weapons, even without probable cause to arrest. This ruling, known as the Terry Stop, has had far-reaching implications for law enforcement and the public alike. So, what started as a simple interaction on a Cleveland street corner evolved into a Supreme Court case that has since shaped the course of police work in America. It defined the fine line between a citizen's right to privacy and an officer's duty to ensure public safety. Terry v. Ohio was not just a case, it became a turning point for law enforcement. It underscored the complexities of police work, reminding us that officers often have to make split-second decisions under challenging circumstances. But that's a topic for another day, see my Graham v. Connor video. For now, remember this. Terry Stop is much more than just a nickname of the Terry ruling. It's a testament to the intricacies of law enforcement in our society. Why does Terry v. Ohio matter so much to law enforcement? This question is the crux of our discussion today. The Terry v. Ohio case was not just a landmark decision in American law enforcement history. It was a game changer, a decision that introduced a significant concept. Reasonable suspicion. Imagine being a police officer on duty, patrolling the streets to maintain peace and order. Now, let's say you notice someone behaving in a suspicious manner based on your years of training and experience as a cop, but you don't have probable cause of a crime yet. Before the Terry ruling, you would have had to let it slide. 
But post Terry, the landscape of law enforcement has drastically changed. The concept of reasonable suspicion was born out of Terry ruling. It's a legal standard that allows police officers to stop and search a person if they have a reasonable belief based on specific and articulable facts that a crime is about to be or has been committed. It's not as high a standard as probable cause, but it's more than just a hunch. This has considerably expanded the scope of police powers. Now, officers can intervene proactively to prevent potential crimes. They can stop, question and frisk individuals based on reasonable suspicion, thereby potentially thwarting crime before it happens. This has helped make our streets safer and has undeniably made the job of law enforcement a bit easier. However, it's not all black and white. Terry v. Ohio has also raised important questions about civil liberties. It's a delicate balancing act, ensuring public safety while respecting individual rights. The concept of reasonable suspicion has been criticised for being subjective and has been accused of enabling racial profiling. So you see, Terry v. Ohio isn't just a case. It's a cornerstone of modern policing. It has provided law enforcement with a crucial tool, enabling them to act and intervene proactively. But it has also raised important questions about the balance between public safety and individual rights. Terry v. Ohio has provided law enforcement with a crucial tool, but it has also raised important questions. Understanding this case is pivotal to understanding the complexities of police work in America today. So, how has Terry v. Ohio changed the way police work is done? Let's dive into this fascinating topic. Terry v. Ohio, a landmark Supreme Court ruling, has dramatically altered the landscape of American policing. It has reshaped the ways police officers conduct stops and searches, providing them with a broader scope to ensure public safety. The ruling, in essence, allows an officer to stop and frisk an individual if they have reasonable suspicion that the person is involved in criminal activity. This stop and frisk policy emerged from Terry v. Ohio and it has become a fundamental part of law enforcement procedures. It allows officers to take proactive measures to deter crime rather than merely responding to it after the fact. But it's not just about the practical application. Terry v. Ohio has also fostered a significant shift in police training. The ruling is now a key component of law enforcement education, teaching officers how to identify suspicious behaviour and conduct a legal and respectful search. However, like many aspects of law enforcement, the application of Terry v. Ohio is not without controversy. Some argue that the ruling gives police too much power, potentially leading to misuse or overuse of stop and frisk practices. Critics also point out that these practices can disproportionately target certain communities, leading to debates about fairness and equality. On the other hand, proponents of Terry v. Ohio argue that it is an indispensable tool for maintaining public safety. They contend that the ruling allows officers to prevent crimes before they occur, ultimately protecting innocent citizens. It's a complex issue, one that continues to shape discussions about law enforcement and civil liberties. In the grand scheme of things, Terry v. Ohio has undeniably left a lasting imprint on American policing. It has influenced how officers interact with the public, how they are trained, and how they approach their duty to protect and serve. The legacy of Terry v. Ohio is still very much alive in today's law enforcement practices. And as we move forward, it will continue to shape the contours of American policing, sparking debates, driving changes, and challenging us to think critically about the balance between public safety and individual rights. With all this in mind, can you imagine the intricacies of police work? It's not just about patrolling the streets or catching the bad guys. It's about navigating a complex web of laws, rights and responsibilities. It's about making split-second decisions that can mean the difference between life and death, between justice served or injustice perpetuated. It's about upholding the principles of law and order, while also respecting the rights and freedoms of individuals. Take Terry v. Ohio, for instance. This landmark case has significantly shaped the way police officers perform their duties, introducing the concept of stop and frisk. It's not as simple as it sounds. Officers must have a reasonable suspicion, a standard that is often subjective and open to interpretation. They must balance the need for public safety with the potential risk of infringing upon someone's civil liberties. The Terry v. Ohio ruling underscores the tightrope that law enforcement officers walk every day. 
It's a delicate balance of ensuring public safety and respecting individual rights. It's a balance that requires not just knowledge of the law, but also wisdom, discernment, and a strong sense of duty. And this is just one case, one ruling. There are countless others, each adding a new layer of complexity to the challenging task of policing, each one providing a new perspective, a new lesson on the interplay between law enforcement and the law. So the next time you see a police officer, remember the complexities of their job. Remember the multitude of laws and court rulings they must keep in mind while making decisions on the fly. Remember the delicate balance they must maintain between enforcing the law and respecting the rights of individuals. Remember, understanding the world of law enforcement is not just about knowing the rules, but about appreciating the challenges and complexities that come with them.